Tonight, we are learning U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken will participate in the United Nations Security Council ministerial on the situation in the Middle East tomorrow. That meeting comes as two more hostages are free from Hamas custody tonight. Still, nearly 200 more hostages are believed to be in captivity. Tonight, the U.S. is pressing Israel to delay a ground war in an effort to secure the return of more hostages and usher in critical aid to the people in Gaza. Back here in Colorado, your reporter in Aurora, Tori Mason, is tracking a pro-Israel resolution introduced at a city council meeting this night and the massive reaction from the community supporting Palestinians. Tori? Well, Alan, there were over 300 people here to see how the council voted on this matter, and it did get rowdy at times. At one point, there was an altercation between two people on opposing sides in the audience, but they were able to resolve that on their own before things could escalate. The mayor wanted to call for a recess at one point just so people could get a chance to settle down, but the council overruled him. The majority here are here to say that Palestinians deserve the city's support, too. Everyone here condemns violence against other human beings on this earth. On one side of Aurora, a peaceful discussion around the humanitarian crisis in Gaza. And across town at city council, tensions rise on both sides. Hamas has now killed the elderly, raped women, burned and beheaded children and babies. This is the organization. <laughs> The city will vote to declare support for either the people of Israel or both Israel and Palestine. Rima Wadden is the director of the Colorado Palestinian Club. We're not saying support us and not them. We're saying support both communities during this time because both communities are grieving. Last week, Councilmember Coombs suggested the resolution supporting Israel be amended to condemn war crimes for both Israel and Hamas. Council members Bergen and Jarensky say Israel has a right to defend themselves. What happened? to the people of Israel is the worst attack on Jews since the Holocaust. Councilman Juan Marcano brought forth a new resolution supporting the people of Israel and Palestine. Hundreds came to stand behind it. Many of the city council members currently support this resolution fail to recognize the impacts of Israel on this country. Mayor, As public comment continues second, through the night, motion many has been made to overrule you as the chair on this can't be changed. matter. We have to be one community at this time to prevent anti-Semitism, to prevent Islamophobia, one community. So outside of the city building right now, you'll see several patrol cars with their lights on. I just spoke to Chief R. Acevedo, and he told me that this is just for visibility and deterrence. It's something that APD does during emotionally charged situations. He confirms that everyone in the area is safe. Now, city council members haven't actually gotten to their discussion about this resolution yet. There are still quite a few people waiting to be called for public comment. We'll continue to follow this as it unfolds. For now, we're live in Aurora. Tori Mason covering Colorado first. All right, Tori, thank you very much for taking us there.